to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm like the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. Sweet. TNT. Yo. So, have you ever skipped out on a check in a restaurant? Have I ever dined and dashed? No. All right. No. Yeah, me neither. I've never dined and dashed. So. I've I've, I've definitely uh, theater hopped, though. Oh, where you went to pay for a movie and then went to another movie later? Yep, and then another one. Have I ever done that? I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen... I've, I've only think I've only ever seen more than one movie in a day twice. And I don't remember if I paid or not. Nah. But, so, this happened in Spain. Spain, Uh-oh. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a 50-year-old man from Lithuania went to a restaurant and decided he was going to do- dine and dash. Okay. Probably not a good idea at 50. You know, Pro- probably not. His bill was a big old thirty four dollars. <laughs> uh, I wonder what's the penalty for something like that out there. I'm sure you're going to let us know. Uh, well, what happened was what he happened? tried to leave and they t- stopped him. So then, what did he decide to do? He decided to fake a heart attack. Come to find out, he has tried this scam at least twenty times yeah. over the past year in different yeah, restaurants yeah, in yeah, Spain. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And. And just it's <laughs> yeah. He says the man dramatically threw himself on the ground and yeah. pretended to have a heart attack. You know what? I honestly feel like this is, might have been a story that I the lost story that I had for a podcast because I remember hey. this. This is crazy, man. This man was faking heart attacks to get free food. That's a that's a for thirty four bucks. So it's a for thirty victim four dollars. Victimless crime is what I'm saying. Is that the fact that you can thirty four dollars ain't gonna hurt nobody, especially if it's your business, whatever. Take yeah, that. dude. It's so like it's not like he was going to like expensive restaurants, going to like three hundred dollars steakhouses and just like yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. man wasn't going to Nobu and then like you know <laughs> eating a chef special. I couldn't imagine faking a heart attack anywhere for anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it to me. No, it's, it's little, like those people like much. fake seizures and shit. Like, why? Yeah. I mean, what are you trying to get out of? A free meal? Well, when we were in Vegas, that lady was on the floor of the casino, yeah. and I don't know if she was faking it or not. But there wasn't a wet floor sign, and like, they were like, "Don't touch her." <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, definitely don't touch her. Yeah, like I don't know. Unless you but know like, CPR first aid. But it's the people and well also the same as like I got yeah, I guess there's a I mean people will just wow out like crazy, like try to just become so rambunctious and like cause such a scene they just tell them to leave. Like yeah, yeah, heart yeah, attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if if you're if the restaurant's full as hell and you're just causing a giant ass ruckus and you got like a twenty dollar bill, and I'm a restaurant owner. I'm like, get the hell out of here! Don't come back. I'll eat the twenty dollars. What do you think drives a person to do that? Do you think it's like lack of money? Do you think it's lack of empathy? Do you think it's just like they just want to see if they can do it? Is it what? What do you think? I mean, it is? let's see. What do you first think? thought is I'm broke and I want a good meal. Okay, and. I don't have any other way to not get Des- out of it. Desperation. Desperation. That's what I would assume. But I feel like some of it for sure is just like attention. Like, because this dude tried to, he didn't do the heart attack to get out of the meal. He did the heart attack because he got caught. Mm-hmm. Like, so they tried to stop leave. him. That's when he fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But this, here's the thing. If Garcon at the front of the restaurant's like, sir, you got to, like, you're gonna you're gonna just stop and have a heart attack instead of just pushing his ass out the way and walking out the door. They're calling the cops either way. That's so true. They are. I, I wonder if, about his like his living situation as well. Um, it, it doesn't really when you like think about the story on on the table. I've, it's something that's very common. Honestly, people dine and dash all the time. People trying to dine and dash and then people making a scene. Hopefully, hope that they can just get away. Uh, it just happened to work for this guy like t- 20 times beforehand until they were like your serial heart attack ever. Interesting idea. I just thought of right now. Why don't you have to pay for your food up front and then you can tip when you're done? Ooh. And then and then you don't have to die, then no one can dine it. Like I order, pay for it then. Oh, because, and, and then at the end of the meal, you leave a tip. Because if it's if it's ass, then I yeah, they can always refund you. I don't feel like I should have paid for that. Have yeah, you ever, I, have, I, you, have you ever done that? 
Have you ever managed managed your way out of a bill? I, maybe like one time, but the service was really, really poor. Yeah, I uh, like I I have had bad service. And I'm just like I'll I'll take bad service and just be like, all right, lesson learned. But like poor service, like where it's like ridiculous. I'm like, nah. I've I've done that one time. Yeah, so. I normally I'll just pay it. Um, well, yeah, because I just I just went to I went out to a restaurant two weeks ago. The girl told me the beers were on special. I got my bill. They weren't. I got three beers, was d- charged double for every beer. They mm. We ordered 24 wings for the table. They brought out 24 wings with two flavors. We had ordered four. We told them they didn't give us a flavor. They brought out – They brought out. she goes, we'll bring you out six more wings in the other flavor. We're like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Bring them out. She charged us for the six goddamn wings that they messed up. So we had to pay for 24 and six and then I paid double for all of my beer. And when the waitress came, I said, hey, you told me these beers were three ninety nine. She was like, oh, and just walked away, never came back to the table. I was just like, and my friends go there all the time. And I was like, they were like, they were like, you should say something. And I'm like, you guys come here all the time. I'm not going to like cause a ruckus about this. But my bill was literally like $15 more than it should have been. And I was just like, I'm just going to give her $15 less of a tip. <laughs> So you took money out of her pocket? She took money out of mine, bro. It's just talking dog just, world out here. I'm saying not taking money out. Of, I mean, you would have literally because there's no way she was getting a fifteen dollar tip. No, I, you I had to like mug her and no, mug her for like I, ten bucks in the parking have, lot. No, like it, my bill was was fifty five dollars. So yeah, I would have Jeez. tipped her probably twelve bucks. All right, look, man, we we got we got to make the the whole joke about you being Larry David here. Um, I think it's hilarious how you remember every aspect of the infraction. That it was happened. two weeks ago, bro. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck? Two weeks ago, but you remembered every. I bet you remember the freaking waitress's name. And no, I have no idea. I barely even remember what she looked like. I, I remember the other waitresses better than her. I just think it was funny that you remember every aspect of the infraction. It was two weeks. It was like it was 20 years ago. You, still it had, a, you even still ago. had a little bit of that original rage and you still. It was just how much how much money it, they took from you, it's still in your mental No, ledger. and I still, I still tipped her. <laughs> and you still tipped her! I just tipped her less than I would have, but... I gave her a ten percent tip instead of a twenty percent. tip. Oh my god, you monster! I know, Working but I don't. Girls. It's not, but I, lesson learned, right? It's like no, yeah. it is what it is. Like I have, but I have definitely had, like you said, service to the point that was so effing bad that I was like, I'm gonna talk to the manager oh, yeah. about this. I, and then yeah, my yeah. girlfriend at the time was like, Don't do that. That's 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 da 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 da. And I'm like. Bitch, we didn't get half our food. It took like an hour and a half, and yeah. like it was wrong. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. What when are we supposed bad, to do? Like, yeah, when it's like, bad, it's bad. It's a fifty dollar bill, and nah. it was everything was wrong. Like there was there was like nothing that was right, and even things that were right were cold and took an hour and a half for us to get. You know, she's busy. Get some goddamn help out here. That it's a part. restaurant. Like I don't that know what part. to tell you. It's still a business. And it was like a Denny's or a IHOP or something, oh, right? God. So like. <laughs> A trash factory. Yeah, dude. And I was like, I mean, that was at the end of the relationship anyway, so. <laughs> I swear to God. Why you know go what? I'm having a flashback. Why, why did it go to you? Were more mad. Like, I'm glad to see you were more mad about the relationship I feel than, like, than the meal. I feel like meal. she made some ignorant comment, too. I feel like she made some ignorant comment, like, just like a guy to want to go do whatever. Or just like some sort of, like, thing, like, very judgy comment or something about it, like. I don't remember exactly what she said, but now I'm talking about it. I'm like, man, I think that really pissed me off. <laughs> like, I didn't like, I didn't fight with her about it because I'm like, it ain't worth it. But I was like, mm. I totally understand, man. They, 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 their words can cut deep, man. Women, women hit you on a different level when they talk ish, man. They do. Yeah, because I will never say I've never in my life said to someone like, that's because you're a woman, or, or that's because you know what I mean, like whatever, like. You do it because you do it because you're human. It doesn't matter yeah. if you're white, black, woman, man, whatever. Like, if somebody's like, you did that because you're white, like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything, has, man? Has that happened to you before? No, but, like, if somebody says that <laughs> yeah. to you, or, like, if somebody was like, they you would never say that to me. But if somebody said that to you, oh, you're only doing that because you're black, they're like, mom, excuse me? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, yeah. like, you're doing that because you're a guy, like, yeah the fuck like women yeah. do it too like what the hell are you talking about yeah like i hate when people do that i will never say that to anybody 
So because yeah. they're a woman or because they're black? anything, because anything, dude. I wouldn't say I would never be like, oh, you're only doing that because you're this like stereotype someone into a fucking corner that that's why they're acting the way they're acting. What if you catch a Chinese person? Hear me out. <laughs> oh God. Hear me out. Hear me out. Here, here you go. Trying to make me racist. Let's what go. if you catch a Chinese person speaking Chinese to other Chinese people? You're only doing that because you're Chinese. That's Am I allowed to say that? Question I've ever. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? I guess I don't. Wow! Cancel. <laughs> I don't know. Chinese people allowed to speak Chinese to other Chinese. Exactly. Crazy. Why are you? Why are you talking Chinese to your Chinese friends? Oh, like, Chinese people right now, like wow. Yeah, they're coming. They're knocking at the door. Embargo. Embargo. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh yeah.